Kyrgyzstan, a country you may not have heard before or know where it actually is on the map, but I can assure you, this country is a country you must see for yourself to believe that nature like this existed, and also before it changes due to the rising number of tourists in the country. What is so special about Kyrgyzstan? Think Switzerland, but without the tourists, the Alps, without the high cost, and Mongolia, without long flight time, in New Zealand, without having to cross the planet, in Iceland, without having to endure those freezing temperatures. Basically, the whole country is out of traditional tourism, and inside this video, we'll drive you through the lakes we like the most. To be honest, most of the time it wasn't even the lake that was the icing on the cake, but the paths to get there. Songkul Lake is definitely one of the best places to visit in Kyrgyzstan. And it's easy to understand why. But before we visit the lake, I'd like you to get to know the delicious horse ride we took to get there. We start the horse ride along the Char Archa Valley, where we can enjoy the beautiful scenery of Kyrgyz's nature. After a stop for lunch, we arrived at Kalumsh, a valley with a huge pasture, where we still experience some scenes of nomad life. That's when we drink our first mare's milk, immediately after the mare has been milked. Be careful not to confuse with Komis or Komis a drink made from fermented mares or other milk. Then, we continue our adventure on the horse through Kalimsh Valley, then Jalgas Karage Pass at 3,400 meters high. On the pass, there is an amazing first view of Songkol Lake. We stop at that point of the pass to enjoy and take a break. Surrounded by beautiful, rolling hills and located in the middle of a massive, flat plain, from where you see the most stunning sunsets in the country, Songkul has become the perfect postcard Kyrgyzstan backpacking itinerary. Songkul is a high alpine lake situated at an altitude of 3,016 meters. It is the second largest lake in Kyrgyzstan with an area of 270 square kilometers. It is three times bigger than the Zurich Lake by surface and its maximum depth reaches just around 22 meters. Songkul is one of the highlights of Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan's nature is almost unspoiled, it is one of the most beautiful spots in the world for hiking. For me, one of the most fascinating, and at the same time hard to reach place in Kyrgyzstan, is the Kokhia Valley in the border zone of the Naran region, which main sightseeing is Lake Kelsu, with a stunning view of the greenish water, in the contrast with the surrounding rocks. There are two main things you need when planning a trip to this area, a border zone permit and a 4x4 vehicle or hire a driver. In our case, and we advise everyone to do the same because the service is of excellent quality, we hired the Kyrgyz Riders Tour to make the tour we prepared together. The contacts of the company and of Mr. Aman, our guide and who helped us a lot, including with the necessary PCR tests on the return, can be read in the description of the video. The best way to enjoy this region is to take a three-day tour from Naran City and make a loop around the Atbashi Mountain Range, Naran, Tashrobot Caravanserai, Kelsu Lake, Naran. The lake is located on the hard-to-reach ridge of Koksal II, and the path there lies through the vast Akasai Valley. It is not that hard to get there, it just sounds more complicated because you have to double pass a river and the road is very rough. But the entire experience is worth all the hassle. In the valley, you have a few yurt camps to spend a night and have a meal. The most popular are Jurgles Yurt Camp and Meter Yurt Camp. Trek from the yurt camp to the Lake Kels who is about 8 kilometers, one way. The average time from the camp to the lake is around 2 to 3 hours. The route to the lake is not difficult, there is only one uphill just before the lake. From the camp follow the path leading through the valley towards the lake on the right side of the river. Just before the last part uphill, you need to cross a small stream. On the way, you can enjoy beautiful views of mountains and meet the flocks of sheep, herds of horses, and yaks. You can also see a large number of marmots. The Kelsu Lake is located in an AK side valley, on the border with China in the Naran province, in the Koksal II range of the Inner Tian Shan Mountains, situated at an altitude of 3,514 meters above sea level. Kelsu was formed from a strong earthquake in a large crevice between the rocks. The water in the lake is fresh and has a shade of greenish color. Kelsu stretches for more than 12 kilometers, and the width varies from 500 meters to 2 kilometers. You need a motorboat if you want to see the whole lake. The lake is fed and drained by the Kurum Duck River. 
Chatter Cool Lake is located between the ridges of the Atbashi and Tarugart II at the altitude of 3,530 meters, in the AK Sai Valley, near Tashrabat. is one of Kyrgyzstan's most isolated sites. In winter, temperatures drop below 50 degrees Celsius. Chatter Kol is Kyrgyzstan's third largest lake. It occupies an area of 175 square kilometers, reaching 16.5 meters at its deepest point. Some 17 rivers feed into the lake, but only one is permanent, the Kekaja River. The water temperature is between 6 and 16 degrees Celsius in July and August. Most of the year the lake is icebound, due to its location among the glaciers. Those traveling to Tarugart may be tempted to make a detour, and make a stop at Chatterpool, but the land surrounding the lake is swampy and can be dangerous since it's also at a border zone with China, can only be reached with a border permit. An important topic when planning a trip. The lake is a part of Karadal's Apirak National Wildlife Refuge, and it's home to many rare bird species, including the golden goose. There are no fish in the lake, but many shrimps. The shore of Chatter Cool is a habitat of various species of animals and birds, snow leopards, marmots, mountain goats, and mountain geese. Its name, Chatter Kol, translates from Kyrgyz language as the Celestial Lake. Being located high in the mountains, the lake justifies its altar name the Sky Lake. The lake has a pale blue color, which offers a surprising contrast with the high mountains that surround it. A few shepherds still come here with their yurts in the summer. Although the lake is difficult to access, it's worth the effort for the feeling of absolute calm you'll enjoy on its shores. If you don't have a border pass, you can hike up to a pass at around 4,000 meters altitude to admire the lake from above. From Tashrabat Caravanserai, this hike takes around 8 to 9 hours to and back. 